Leo, what's happening? It's Robin here. Welcome to your November 2021 mid-month tarot card reading. My name is Robin. Did I say that already? And this is my channel, Aries Fire Tarot. So let me start shuffling very badly, very poorly, the Starman tarot card deck um, to do your mid-month reading. So I have been previously every mid-month using a tarot spread to do this reading, but my guides were telling me that it's time to scrap the spread and just go it alone with them intuitively. So I hope you guys enjoy this reading. Keep in mind, it's a general reading for Leo in Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Um, if you feel like you need a private read right now, good grief, my email address is ariesfiretarot at gmail.com, okay? And I'll set you up for an appointment. All right, so <clears throat> I just want to start pulling cards for you guys and see what's going on, okay? You guys are like, I'd say one of the most confident signs in the Zodiac. So I'm just getting that really like big boost of confidence that like really feeling yourself here. However, mm -hmm, we have the Prince of Swords, okay? So this is very interesting in the fact that um, there are some incoming messages for you that you could be just on team oblivious, okay? Just hold on for a sec. Obviously, I say that with all kinds of love, okay? Uh, you could be trying to rationalize something like, well, that doesn't really make sense in a physical way or, you know, you could be trying to apply pi r squared to a situation. But meanwhile, it's going to take something different on a deeper emotional level for you guys to interpret. I did pull the Prince of Swords here. There's all kinds of ethereal beings um, around him. You can see in the background, it's like your spirit guides are trying to get closer to you, but you're not having it okay you're not having it this could be one or many of your ancestors stepping forth right now the crow the raven is particularly uh impactful in the card um like a harbinger of good fortune they're not annoying okay they're absolutely brilliant and they carry messages from one side of the veil to the other um so it's going to be really important for you you guys to start counting crows um, I kind of want to write that down. Hold on. Okay, so there's something that I do when I see a specific amount of crows, one, two, three, four, whatever. Um, I go and look up the spiritual meaning associated with how many crows I just saw. It doesn't have to be in real life. It can be on TV or whatever. Um, I saw the same card in somebody else's reading too. I can't remember what sign it was. So there's somebody going through a very similar experience to you. So if one of your friends starts talking about that, maybe pay really close attention to them, okay? Because this stuff is real. Messages do come from your ancestors. This thing is driving me nuts. Um, it's real, you know? Spirit animals are real. Spirit guides are real. They're trying to reach you, but you have this sense that it's not real, okay? And you're like... <laughs> I'm just going to ignore that. My strategy is going to be not to tap into that. So I want to ask the question, why are you doing that? Why? Is it scaring you a little bit? Especially if you guys had somebody that recently uh, passed the veil, I would say in the past year or two, um, they're going to have a really important message for you guys. And this is going to carry you so so far okay so i want you guys to check out this card um and really take it deep into your heart especially if you're familiar with tarot and you know who the fool card is okay so because this deck was inspired by david bowie the cards have completely different artwork they're very sort of out there and the fool is called the sacred clown in the starman tarot and there's, there's a little bit of darkness to him, you know? And he can start his journey having seen the dark side. Um, but there's somebody with him, okay? So this could be what you guys are afraid of. You could be afraid of actually communicating with this spirit guide who wants nothing but the best for you. 
And I'm getting this sense that they are really seeing your path because now they are not bound by human constraints. They're on the other side of the veil. They can see everything that your higher self can see. So who is this over here? Who is that? It is somebody, I'm getting that again, somebody that passed away within the first, within a year or two, or right around that time period, and, and they're stepping up to help you. And they're trying to send you signs, okay? So especially if you're seeing ravens or crows, oh, uh, this is going in the garbage, okay? Ugh, driving me nuts, sorry guys. Um, so who is that? And you might be a little bit afraid of that darkness, but everybody rolls with darkness, okay? Everybody has that. Everybody has that, okay? So by you sort of opening that door to listen to messages by, by somebody through somebody on the other side of the veil, you could think that you're sort of tinkering with, you know, things that you just don't want to stir the pot with. But this is a really good spirit for you. And they can change the way you represent yourself in the world, okay? They can sort of take that... That really, like... I'm getting the word, like, naivete. That really... Um, like, where you just want to trust everybody. And you want to help everybody. And, you know, you just care so much. But it's going to bring it like a sharper diamond edge to who you are. And you're like going to be able to see things almost telekinetically about people and not even stop and give them the time of day if they've got nothing good in return for you. So you'll start really being a little bit more selective about who you share energy with. And it's going to raise you up. And that, that guy is like, he's right there. He's right there, like walking behind you. So it's going to take a bit of an adjustment. If you guys are not used to that, it can be very overwhelming. Um, just quickly, like I get that from Archangel Michael sometimes will like manifest behind me. And it's like, whoa, whoa. What is happening with this energy right now? Whoa. Um, but think of it this way. Now you can no longer fall back. You can no longer fall back. When you have this of a powerful of a spirit guide with you, your ancestor, I'm saying they're not going to let you fall at this point of your life. This is like a very critical um, time period for you guys very very interesting so don't be afraid to respond you know if you're seeing these messages first of all you want to ask all right who's there <clears throat> you should hear a voice in your head a voiceless voice a sense of knowing so this could be like a magical mystical tour for you guys really incredible okay I find this really fascinating too here that we pulled the three of cups for the next card because I think you're going to be guided into um, like a pod of people that are really in touch with their magic and how to work their magic, you know, whether it is through prayer or laws of affirmation or just doing things that are a little tiny bit outside your realm of what you're currently doing for manifesting, okay? Um, you guys have been super patient, really waiting for, you know, your big jackpot to come in, your big payoff. But where are you on that journey right now, okay? So you do have this ancestor coming in to help you. And then the Three of Cups, is it's taking you to <clears throat> new friendships and people that sort of work on that level you might notice that they have really nice clothes they drive really nice cars you know they have really nice homes they have really nice jewelry it's because they're following the magic that their ancestors are offering them this is fantastic i i love this like you're just gonna have your own spiritual coach 
your ancestor, and we just don't know how long they're gonna be around, okay? How long they're capable of being this close. So you wanna take advantage of that and have conversations and get the guidance so you can get up to that level, okay? With the nice house and, you know, sending money to your mom. <laughs> <laughs> my son never watched these readings don't worry about it Ugh, yeah see here's where you guys get to part the veil okay and you can see all these options this is like so powerful where you can just call everything in like this is the 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 sense of the master manifester where you can just raise your hands and sort of pulse your power through your palm try saying that three times quick everything being attracted to you like a magnet okay just really pulling it in this ancestor is going to help you and this group of friends with all the nice stuff <clears throat> and they're super nice people too angel number one 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 Manifest it right now, Leo. Really start paying attention to what is going on here in your life with this specter that it maybe is creeping you out a little bit. You can say to your ancestors or your angels or whoever's around, you're kind of scaring me. Stop that. And they will. But take advantage of what is just about to happen for you here. Whew. That's all I'm getting. All right, guys. Peace out. Bye.